What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. We are on a new update, 11.3.3. So the 11.3.2 update got paused and uh, it seems that this is the new update. So this went to employees last night. It's already come to the OG beta testers. And my guess is that this is probably gonna continue wider uh, soon. So we have a right turn here and there is nobody to the left. There was one car turning left there and we waited for them and a nice job here. So you can see it's raining. Let me go through the release notes here. I don't think they've changed. If you wanna read them, go ahead and pause. Uh, but I, I glanced over them. I didn't see anything different. Let me know if I, if I just missed something. But it's raining, I just got the update uh, last night and you know, it's called full self-driving, not sunny self-driving. So I was like, whatever, like it's, who cares? I gotta be able to use it, it's raining, let's go. So we're going into downtown Fenton, Michigan here. I've crafted a newish route. Uh, I have some of the staples in there so we make sure we get a roundabout and some difficult lefts and things like that. But a couple of new spots to uh, kind of challenge the car here. Uh, in On this newest version, in the rain, and uh, if you want to see some more complicated driving uh, coming up with more pedestrians and a busier downtown area, make sure you hit like and get subscribed. I will have that video coming up uh, in a day or two, and you can watch that one as well. But here we go, kind of first thoughts, impressions on this drive, and uh, we'll see how the car does. So I want to tell you a couple bugs I've been experiencing with the 11.3.2 uh, branch. Uh, so full stop there, and then continues through. So very cautious at this... Uh, Stop sign, um, I'm actually gonna report it, not, not that nice, but whatever. Um, so uh, one of the bugs is my car just would not wake up, <laughs> like from the app. So when I went and opened the door, it would wake up right away, but it couldn't be woken up remotely. So I actually didn't even get this update initially until I went out to my car, I looked and it said no update. And I was like, oh, well, I guess, you know, I've been skipped before. I was like, whatever, I guess we missed this one. Uh, and then a few minutes later, it did end up popping down. So that was interesting. Um, and I've, I've shown some of the other bugs in my videos with weird uh, turns and stuff like that. So hopefully we'll see a lot of that gone. Um, some others had some bugs with their audio or something. I didn't exactly see what it was, but hopefully all of that will be gone and this can roll out wider. Now, the big unfortunate thing that I need to mention for everybody here is this is still a 2022 branch. So if your vehicle is on, just come on, complete the, okay, let's go. All right, I'm gonna push it through, okay. Already doing a bad job there. So it was just scared of whatever was happening there, that other car to the right, and um, it doesn't need to stop there. So if you're on a 2023 software branch, so if you go into your settings here and go to software, uh, down here near the bottom, we're not full self-driving beta, the part after that, the 2022.45.12. If your car is on a higher number than that, so a 2023 build, you cannot get full self-driving beta until beta, is past your build. The cars cannot go backwards in software. So do not subscribe to full self-driving. Do not buy full self-driving if you're on a higher software branch than, than that. I get that question all the time. So I really wanted to make that clear. So making a right here, we're really cautious in the rain, it feels like. Um, that last left turn was just terrible. The right turn was fine. Um, and maybe it is because of the rain, but uh, whatever. So we do have, I haven't mentioned it, this full self-driving beta may be degraded poor weather message. Uh, that's, that's fine. Um, that comes up a lot. I have noticed with version 11 in general, it is much more willing to drive in uh, adverse conditions than, than before. But I will sometimes come across where I try to turn on beta, especially after disengaging, and it will not allow me to turn it back on. <laughs> so um, I don't know if this latest uh, 3.3 will do that, but that has also been an annoyance I've experienced, I don't know, once or twice in the few weeks I've been driving it. But still, something that is not normal for beta that I, I, I noticed and I thought I'd bring up. So other than that, we'll continue, um, and I'm doing a bad job. Whoa, hey, I didn't edit my trip, and it's continuing. Okay, so I need to push the accelerator here. It was going to stop there because that's where I told it to go, so that was fine. Um, I just need to push it up to the stop sign. Hopefully it will reroute here. That was totally my bad. I'm too busy talking. So we're up to the stop sign. I'm not interacting with it anymore, and it is our turn, and we continue exactly when that uh, pickup truck got out of our way. So nice job. Handled that really well. Nicely moving over for that pedestrian. Very good to see. All right, so nice right on that green. Should not be a problem. But again, we're at the destination. I did delete it kind of as soon as I could. Uh, but <laughs> then, of course, it's going to stop where I asked it to go. So I will push it through here. And I just gave it a tap. And it's continuing, continuing on its own as it figures out the route. So moving nicely through this part. Uh, this actually used to mess it up a little bit. It actually was never that bad. So here we go. We're missing some turns and things here. 
and a great job rerouting. So it did put up the incorrect turn signal there for a second, but it did not do anything weird. It kept its composure basically uh, until the next maneuver. All right, so we're timid again here, but it's a two-way stop. Cross traffic doesn't stop in the car. Tends to be a lot more careful in those scenarios. Uh, it's just, it's a weird kind of situation because it creeps so far into the, <laughs> the road before it continues. And at that point, it's like, well, just move. Just get out of the way. You're already in the road. So there's nothing to wait for. And that's where, you know, personal opinion. Some people don't think it's needed, but I think some farther up side-facing cameras would be really important. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying if t Tesla put those cameras on my car right now, oh, level five, it's done. But I just feel like it would make the car so much more capable in those situations than it is now. At the same time, I see a lot of extremely impressive maneuvers with the current setup. Like when I did, uh, I went, when I was in Florida, I did that with uh, Chuck. I tried out his left turn, go check out his video if you didn't see that. And it did it every time and it was very impressive. So that's, you know, the scenario I would think it really needs that, but I've been proven wrong in that exact scenario, so. All right, so full stop, but it's four way, so we should continue. There's a car approaching, but we're not gonna wait for them because it's our turn. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm pushing it through because we're stopping in the intersection. So way too timid here. Again, maybe it's the rain, maybe it's the rain. Don't get me wrong, but it's called full self-driving. The system enabled me to turn it on in the rain. Uh, at the same time, it's giving me a message saying like, yo, I might need some help here. So you can kind of decide, you know, there's a big spectrum of reactions people have to all of this. I'm kind of on the side of like, oh, this is sweet and it screws up sometimes. But man, some people just get so fired up in either direction of like, you're way too hard on it. This is the coolest thing ever, which don't get me wrong, I think it's very cool. And there's the other way where, you know, the car can't do something I think is insanely difficult and people are like, oh, it's a piece of garbage. <laughs> I'm like, all right, come on people. Let's, let's try to keep it somewhere in the middle. Uh, but I'm just trying to show you everything and you know, you can judge it however you like. So let's delete this next one early ahead of time so the car can actually calculate its stuff and we will keep going. Okay, so approaching the three-way stop from a different angle here. I think I'm about to change the route because uh, I don't want to go to the right anymore. It looks boring. Come on, it's our tur clearly our turn. <laughs> Way too timid. We do not have the message of abilities maybe limited or whatever. Uh, so neat transitions, we'll get rid of that. Um, yeah, so we don't currently have that message and it's still being pretty timid here. And let's get rid of the next one too so we can head over to the roundabout I believe is next or something. But yeah, so oh, another Model 3 there. They're also testing beta. Nice peace sign from them. Always like that. Um, hello if you're watching. <laughs> it's happened before. It doesn't happen often, but sometimes I get that comment like, hey, that was me. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Really timid. Again, I'm kind of on the side of like, I don't mind. They're really timid, mostly because it, um, sorry, I'm just, I wasn't expecting that left turn, uh, mostly because it's safe and that's what a robotax needs to do. At the same time, we gotta go, you know, get where we're going and not get in anybody's way. Nice slowing for all the pedestrians here, watching everybody, so very good. And we do not have a stop sign, so there you go. Incoming cars, it's still uh, starting with, I think it was version 11 made this really sensitive. It's just, well, maybe version 10 too. It's so sensitive to cars that are coming towards you, which again, I totally understand, but it's kind of that human intuition thing of like, yeah, technically if they were to continue at that speed, they're gonna run into me, but I am 99% sure they're gonna stop at their stop sign or whatever, right? So, man, crappy braking for this red light. I don't know, maybe the rain's screwing up, but whatever, like I got the update, here we go. <laughs> I'm not gonna wait till it's sunny to make a video for you guys. Uh, people wanna see it in all conditions. People ask me to do, you know, rain and snow and everything. So here it is. So you still get this uh, turn signal at a bend in the road and a complete stop. Oh boy. Well, I guess I picked a challenging route for it, huh? So let's calculate the new route. Let's see what it does. Oh, so it takes this left. I like that. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. So it must have some type of preloaded something in there because there was absolutely no route on the display, but it still chose the correct way to go. Um, maybe because of the route that was already in there. It knew. I don't know. I'm just totally guessing. So here's a pretty tough unprotected left here. I mean, if there's some cars, which yes, there are. There's a truck to the left, someone to the right. So, oh, model, wow, that's what is that? Three Teslas in Fenton? They're taking over, I'm telling you. So if you go, you're good, but there's a truck coming. <laughs> My goodness. All right, I mean, it's just a little slow, but 
we had, we had plenty of time. Let me show you the camera so you can see what that looks like. There's the back camera. Looks uh, terrible. That's what it looks like in the rain. Nothing you can really do about that. Um, I could get out and clean it right now, and in 10 seconds it would look like that again. And then the repeaters look beautiful. They have no problems. I didn't clean them. I didn't touch them. So uh, driving on dirt roads, that's, that's what they look like coming from there. So it's good, unprotected left. We have, we have plenty of time. That was good. That was a nice one, very nice. So we should sail right through this green and that was perfect and beautiful. Oh my goodness, another Model Y over there. What is going on? Fenton, I love it. Um, that, that could not have been any better and that was awesome. And that is a, a spot where the car used to be super timid just like we've seen a lot in this video, but it used to be like that for those turns every single time. All right, here's our green. We should move directly through. There's no reason not to go. And very nice. Oh, that's not very nice. There you go. <laughs> Fix that. Uh, so another error there. I mean, whatever, no vehicles were there or anything, but not the right place to go and the car fixed it right away. So roundabout still on 11 have been not good. So we're already slowing way too much for this. There you go. It corrected in the middle of the slowing and you know, okay, all right, all right. I could feel the timidness. I could feel it being timid with that approaching car, but it did not highlight them, them in blue. And you know what, I'm not gonna lie, uh, I'm gonna take over here. It did do it correctly. So I'm gonna go through it one more time, make sure it's not a fluke. Let me skip ahead to that. All right, here we go. I wanna go through the roundabout, so I'm just gonna make it turn right here, or turn left here, sorry, and turn this on. It will reroute, but it actually doesn't need to reroute, it'll just figure it out here. Hey, maybe it'll go all the way around. So you should yield, and you yield. A little late, and ooh, a hard, hard break at the end there. I mean, not like, it was gonna run into them or anything, but it was just, I don't know, not that comfortable. How about that? <laughs> the braking was later than it should have been, but still with plenty of time, if that makes sense. So we did get through there, um, but yeah, roundabouts are still pretty hit or miss for version 11, and we'll have more coming up in future videos, so check those out. I can do a roundabout specific video if you like, but overall, I think that's enough. Um, I think we can call it there. Let me know what you think of this drive, you know, just kind of a first quick drive. Um, I'm gonna give it some grades. So people have been asking for a little more granularity in the data. Uh, so I'll try to put the miles, I don't know if I'll know exactly how many miles we just drove, but I'll put the chart up. Version 11 overall is looking better data-wise, but let me give it some grades here. So safety, I'm gonna say A+. Like, the car did nothing dangerous at all this drive, which is great to see, especially when you're in the rain. You would think the car would have a harder time doing things, which we saw in certain capacities, but safety was not one of them. The car never did anything uh, where I thought it was gonna crash or cut someone off or something like that. So that's awesome. That's number one what we wanna see. Comfort, I'm gonna give it like a C or a C minus. Um, there were no really hard brakes, but at the same time, there was a lot of jerky movements and a lot of like kind of this back and forth stopping going thing, um, but nothing too harsh. So it, it didn't fail in that regard. It just wasn't, the, you know, the best. I, I could have done much better. Um, uh, what else? Like rudeness towards other drivers. Tell me some categories you want for future videos, but like it's politeness towards other drivers uh, was, was terrible. That was like a D. <laughs> we kept getting into intersections and stopping or stopping in front of people uh, when we shouldn't. So yeah, like this, th look at this, this unprotected left. This is a spot where in the past beta would turn the wheel you know, while it waited, which is dangerous. And it would like maybe go too fast. Like this is perfect positioning. We're exactly where we need to be. And as soon as this car, watch, it starts to move and it completes the turn. Like that is so, autopilot team has destroyed lefts. They used to not be very good. And now they are so good. They are so good. They're not flawless, but they're amazing. So uh, let me know. Those are kind of my grades for those categories, uh, what I thought of so far. But overall, I hope you enjoyed this one. And, uh, I will look forward to talking to you down in the comments and you will see me in full self-driving beta in the next video.